What's up, family? What's up, family? It's me, your boy, Urban Sports Guru. Want to holler child about what's going on in the Western Conference playoffs. The playoffs has been lit, as expected. I told you the Western Conference is going to be lit. The series are going to be excellent to watch. I mean, very fan-friendly. First, let's talk about San Antonio and um, Denver. As I predicted, a seven-game series. They split the first four games 2-2. Two -two. Now it becomes a three-game series, which is going to stretch to seven. Last night, Denver protected home court once again. They're so great at home. They win. they up 3-2 now. I'm going to go back to San Antonio. I expect San Antonio to bounce back after losing the last two games. After getting their ass kicked in Game 5. And um, getting their ass kicked in Game 5. I think they're going to win Game 6. Stretching to 7, as expected. But that's not what everybody wants to talk about this morning. What everybody wants to talk about this morning is what they saw last night in Portland. <sighs> Baby Dane. Damn near 40 feet. That shot to me was reminiscent of what, what st the shot that Steph Curry made against OKC, that regular season game. Like, who the fuck pulls up? This shows you how the NBA has changed. Who the fuck pulls up from that far away intentionally for a game win? Who does that? Who does that? So when Paul George says that's a bad shot. Yeah, it is. But in today's NBA, guys are shooting no shots regularly. And the only other player in the league that I think who can pull up regularly, who's pulling up regularly like that from that deep and making them is Damian Lillard. I think Damian Lillard redeemed himself as I expected. I did pick OKC in this series. But he did redeem himself as I expected. Way better than I expected because I didn't think they'll win the series. I figured he would go off, but they'll lose. I figured that he will lose because Paul George, they didn't have an answer for Paul George. But guess what? Amino, Harkless, they played great defense. Yes, Paul George has the shoulder injury, but they played excellent defense in this series. Excellent defense on Paul George. Now... The topic that everybody really want to talk about is Russell Westbrook. I think now we have to finally ask this question. In this now stat padding NBA that we have, is he really making his teammates better? And right now, I'd have to say no. That's three first round exits. Let's go. Let's go to the first one. First of all, you've had K you had KD and all of them. Cut got to one finals, and. The one finals you went to, I mean, okay, y'all were babies, I'll give you that. But just look at his first year without KD. Everyone kept saying he was by himself. No, he wasn't. You still had Adams. You still had Ennis Cantor. You see what Ennis Cantor's doing in Portland. And most importantly, you had Victor Oladipo. Nobody talks about that. You had Victor Oladipo, and I was saying that shit then, where everybody said, oh, he has no one. He has Victor Oladipo. What has Victor Oladipo done since? He's only become an all-NBA player in Indiana. This is what the fuck you had with you, right next to you. That's what you had. You had that right next to you. And, and it's like, it's been made so much all about you, all about you, all about you. You ain't giving him no time to shine. You're not doing anything for him. Last year, you had Paul George and Melo still the first round. This year, you still have Paul George in the, in the supporting cast of guys who fit better. Great tenacity defensively. Um, The backup point guard, I'm forgetting his name, Dennis Schroeder. Still a first round exit. What the fuck else are they going to need? Because guess what? Guess what? What you call is under contract. Russ is under contract. Paul George is now under contract. Russ is under contract. Paul George is now under contract. With Russ under contract. Paul George now under contract. I mean, Steven Adams, he probably has a year left in this contract. Where else are they going? They can use a shooter, but if all you're going to have is a shooter is just going to stand in the corner and shoot threes, guess what? Come playoff time, you just stay home on him. Then what? Then what? The guy's got to be able to touch the ball. 
They were at their best this year when Russ didn't dominate the ball when he deferred to Paul George. Can Russ defer? And right now it's showing no, he can't. Can Russ make his teammates better? Other than those little dump-off passes so he could pad his stats, the answer to that seems like a big fat no. I think Russell Westbrook is going to have to do some soul searching. And I love me some Russell Westbrook, but I'm going to keep it all the way on it. But he's going to have to do some soul searching. Because not only did this a third first-round exit, but he got his ass bust in this fucking series. And Damian Lillard ended it just with a... And I would do the same. Let me hear what you think. Let me hear your thoughts. Make sure you hit the like. Hit the subscribe. It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm out. Salute.